Hello, uh, this is Eugene Blanchard, and we're going to talk about how to install TTS1 on the latest versions of Cakewalk, which doesn't come with it anymore. Just a little bit of history here. TTS1 stands for 12 Tone Systems, and 12 Tone Systems was the original company in 1987 who developed Cakewalk. And here we are, 38 years later, we're still using a version of it. It's pretty cool. On my Google Drive, I've installed uh, the TTS1 installation files that, that work on my version of Cakewalk, which I've used TTS1 for probably six years now, so I've shared them. So when you go to uh, the Google Drive on TTS1 installation files, what you're going to do is download all of them. So sometimes there might be a pull-down menu here that would say download all. In our case, we'll just go download all. And what we'll do is it zips it, and it will and we'll download it into our download folder. It's going to take a while. Folder, it's a compressed file. So we're going to save it. It's done. Close this down. We don't need this. I recommend uh, using uh, Google Chrome to download it just because it's on the Google Drive. So now I'll go to the folder, open it up. And what we'll do is right click on it and we will extract all and extract it to the same folder and it should create a folder called TTS1 installation files. What we're going to do is we're going to copy these files into certain locations for where Cakewalk expects them. So while we're waiting, uh, there's some notes. I found that some of the TTS files were already installed by Cakewalk. Uh, you can skip installing them if they're already on your system. Uh, Cakewalk should not be running and most of these steps will require administrator rights or access to perform. So now we have our TTS1 installation files folder, so we'll open it up. And now we can start. So the first thing we're going to do is drag the files located in Cakewalk Core folder to C program file Cakewalk Cakewalk Core. So what I'm going to do is um, go to my C drive. I'm going to program files. I'm going to Cakewalk, I'm going to Cakewalk Core, and now what I'll do is I will copy the files from Cakewalk Core here, and drag them into that. Uh, so here's an example that two files have the same name, so what we'll do is we'll just skip these files, and you'll need to provide administrator administrator permission to move to this folder. So we'll do with all the current ones. We'll continue. And that's the first step. Okay, so, so now we can come back up here. Um, next one we'll do to shared DXI. We're going to create a new folder in C program files Cakewalk shared. So we'll come back up to Cakewalk here. So I'm back at Program Files, I go to Cakewalk, and now I go to Shared DXI, and what we're going to do is create a TTS1 folder here. So right click, New Folder, I'm going to call it TTS1, I'm going to open up that folder, and now I'm going to copy all of these and drag them in here. And it's, again, it, you need administrator permission, so I'll do this for all the current ones. Just a note, Cakewalk should not be running at this time. So now we can go back up to here, the TTS1 installation files, and we're going to open up the uh, soft synth track templates and we're going to drag the whole folder go to C drive we're going to cakewalk contents we're going to cakewalk core we'll go to track templates down here we'll go to the soft synth track templates and what we'll see is in this case TTS1 is already installed with everything that we need and we'll double check here and it's there. So here's an example where they removed part of Cake uh, TTS1, but they still have parts of it left. So we don't have to do anything there. It's already there. 
Uh, next step is we're going back to the TTS1 installation and what we have is a TTSL logger.dll. Uh, just a note, here's the uh, TTS1 installation instructions all written out, but you'll see that it's a lot easier going quickly here. So this file here has to go into the program files cakewalk shared utilities. So I go back to C drive, program files, cakewalk, shared utilities, and the TTSL logger is here already, so we don't have to do that one either. So this is getting really simple. We're coming up to the last step, is that what you have to do is register TT-1DLL, because it's a, actually a DXI file, and we have to register it. So we'll do that in a second. I'll close this down. I don't need that. I don't need that. I'm going to open up a command prompt. Command prompt, you right-click on it. You go more and you run it as administrator. It says, do you want to allow this device? Yep. All right, now we have to register our DXI, which is TTS-1. It's part of uh, DirectX. So it's not like a VST, it's a DirectX. So what we have to do is type this command um, exactly the way it's typed, right? Uh, what I'll do is I'll I'll have uh, the information in uh, the description here. So it's register server 32. In quotation marks, you put c colon backslash program file slash cakewalk slash shared dxi slash tts dash one slash tts dash one dot dll. Then we hit enter with a quotation marks at the end. And now we get this uh, little pop-up that says the DI register server succeeded, and now we know we're okay. So we'll just close that down. We can type exit here. And now we can uh, bring up Cakewalk and see if it works. Um, what I'm doing, this is a virgin install of Cakewalk. It's running under uh, uh, Oracle VirtualBox as a virtual machine. Uh, so I wanted to make sure that I had a very clean install my version of Cakewalk that I use is six years worth of uh, VSTs and stuff installed. So we have it open. One of the first things I want to do is I want to go to the utilities. I want to go to the Cakewalk plugin manager. And then I want to look at DXI. And there it is, Cakewalk TTS1 has been registered. So that's a good sign. So now let's uh, create an, a track instrument. This time it will be uh, Cakewalk Omni Create. I got TTS1 is running. I'll bring up a, I got a piano. So now if I bring up a virtual instrument, so I'll go view, uh, virtual controller, I'll do my keyboard controller. Um, now what I'll do is I'll come over here. I can select cakewalk, yep. On here. First thing, and then I can select uh, I don't know, let's do the uh, acoustic bass. So, it appears to be working perf perfectly good. All right, well, thank you very much for uh, watching this. Uh, my name is Eugene Blanchard. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope it helps you.